genius never quits. People think that genius is something that you're born with. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's something you build brick by brick. I've known a lot of people in my life, friends, some family, but a lot of students, really good students, and really bad students, students who you would look at and think, there's no way, there's no way this person is gonna pass this class. I mean, even after teaching for several years, sometimes I get students, I think, there's no way. Genius never quits. I've seen people come back, even after having years of teaching experience. The desire to survive, the will to succeed, it's stronger than you think. And that's what separates people who are considered geniuses and those who aren't. It's because geniuses don't quit. Once you quit, that's it, right? What's that old saying? If you don't try, you'll never succeed. Right? You'll, you'll never do it. If you're struggling with math, you know, it's normal. And if you think that some people are just better at it than you and they have to work less hard, that's true to a point. Everyone in mathematics gets to a level where it gets so hard that they have to work incredibly hard to keep learning. I, I didn't realize this until I was in grad school. You know, because as an undergrad, I was pretty good. You know, I, was, I always wanted to be the best, usually top three, sometimes top five. I got a couple Bs, mostly As. You go to grad school, just average, just like everybody else. Definitely not the best, definitely not the worst, just right in the middle. And that's a humbling experience for someone who's used to being number one or close to the top. But then something interesting happened. I noticed that the smart people, the people who were better than me, the people who I thought, oh, the person's a genius. They were working just as hard as I was, if not even harder. Genius does not quit. So next time, you know, you're in class or you see a professor or, you know, you talk to someone who knows a lot of math, you're like, oh, they're a math genius. They had to work for it, right? I don't think people, people don't respect that. They don't, they don't realize the level of work it takes. I remember before I went to grad school, my professors would say, oh, it's, it's a lot harder in grad school. Oh, it's way harder. You're gonna have to work a lot harder. And I believed them, but you can't even put it into words. I cannot say in words to you right now how hard it is. I can't describe the level of difficulty. It's that much harder, especially if you go to a pretty good school. It's that much harder. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot. You have to spend a lot of time on it. That's the thing with mathematics. It takes a lot of time. It's very time intensive activity because problems take a lot of time to figure out. And you have to think about the problems. You know, you, you, you solve a proof, you figure it out, you have to think about it. It's not just like, here's the answer, you got it. No, you have to actually understand 
that takes effort, a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of energy. And so these people who are math geniuses, it's just because they didn't quit. And, and yes, you know, some people learn faster. Genetics play a huge role. I, I would be definitely lying if, if I said they didn't. But in my personal experience, just you know, from teaching hundred th thousands of students, hundreds of classes, basic classes, you know, algebra, calculus, differential equations, at the undergrad level, most people, I would say the majority of people, could take a calculus class and pass it. You know, even even people who are really weak. You know, I've had students with with disabilities. I don't know what they are, I just know they have them. And sometimes they have to work a lot harder, but they do it, they do it. I've also had students that are really good naturally and they choose not to use their talents. They choose not to work hard. And that's always a weird one when you see someone who is naturally good at mathematics but chooses not to pursue it or chooses not to work hard on that thing. I don't think it's laziness necessarily. A lot of times it's a choice. You know, wh where do you want to spend your time? You only have so much time and you only have so much energy in a day. And so if you're going to focus on math, that's going to take a lot of your time and energy. So people make decisions, right? People have different lives. I had a friend really good at mathematics, brilliant, way smarter than I am, way smarter, just brilliant. He chose not to do math. Why? He said, math takes a lot of time and I have a lot of other things I like to do with my time. I remember the day he told me that, getting goosebumps now, I was just blown away. Here's this guy who I look up to as a math genius and he's choosing to do something else with his time. People make decisions and they choose to do what they want to do, right? And he has a good life, started his own business, completely unrelated. I think he plays the flute. <laughs> yeah. Genius never quits. So if you're struggling with math and, and you're looking at people who are better than you and you think it's just because it's natural, some of it might be. But if you quit, if you stop, if you decide to stop, then what you're doing is you're guaranteeing that you will never succeed. I don't want to say failure, right? Because... If you never try, then technically you never fail, right? There's a difference between not trying and trying and failing. When you try and fail, at least you can say, hey, I tried. I did my best, you know? If you don't try, then there's this, there's this thing that can happen. It's called regret. And my friends, that's the last thing you want, you know? I think I've talked about this before, but a lot of times before people, before people die, you know, when they're, eat, when they're reaching the end of their lives, they ask them, you know, what, what are some things that you would have done differently? You know, if you can go back in time, what decisions would you make that were different? And it's usually not different decisions. It's usually things like, oh, I wish I would have done this. Like, things they didn't do. It's regret. You want to live your life with no regrets. So if you want to pursue math or physics or whatever, whatever it is you want to do, do it. Do it now. Don't wait. All you have is right now. You can think about it all day long. You can think about doing it. But doing it is what's going to make a difference. So if you want to be a genius in something, you can't quit.
Genius never quits, my friends. Never quits. All of those people who've done great things in mathematics, all the math professors out there who are doing research and stuff, these, these, I don't think people realize how hard it is, you know? It's not just talent, right? It's mental grit. It's pretty intense. Don't give up, my friends. Don't give up. If you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my links in the description. I have books, links in the description. Genius never quits. Stay strong.